विद मी टुडे इज अ मैन ऑब्वियसली हु नीड्स नो इंट्रोडक्शन आप जैसा कि अभी किसी ने कहा सभी के दिलों के राजकुमार बन चुके हैं बॉलीवुड इंडस्ट्री के राजकुमार बन चुके हैं सबसे पहले बधाई लो फॉर बधाई दो आई विल स्टार्ट विद योर फिल्म भीड़ विच यू सेड इट वॉज वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू योर हार्ट एंड यू वर्क रियली हार्ड बट इट डिडेंट मैनेज टू गैदर the audience do you think people are scared of facing the reality what what, what do you think went wrong i don't know you can't really say what went wrong i think uh, i'm not sure it was an experiment uh, it I, i would again say i'm i'm very proud of the film and some films get their life get their uh, audience maybe slightly later in life because now it would be out on netflix very soon and i'm pretty sure that a lot of people would watch it on netflix and it will become a huge hit and i say this quite often but you know some films are meant for weekends and weeks and some films are meant for life and bhid is one of those films which is meant for life yeah. i know you know after 10 years 20 years uh, people would come up to me and, and talk to me about bhid what are your memories of covid i know bhid is based on covid yeah. time any anything specific you would like to share that completely changed your outlook towards life oh yeah um especially the second uh, wave i think was was pretty horrible for our country for india and all over the world actually uh it was something which uh, all of us felt very helpless about and um, i have lost few some of my loved ones but the uh, but the only uh, i would say ray of hope i saw was that how everybody came together yeah. to help each other i did my bit i i went out of my way to help people as many people as i could and so as a lot of my people or my friends uh, i think that's the only uh, i would say g- ray of hope i saw which is just being human taking care of each other in those really tough times but apart from that i think it's a uh, it's it's a this a really really bad memory i have it's a, it's there's a lot of sadness yeah. especially during those months seeing you know people just passing away right left and center was was something which nobody would might like to watch yeah you are one of the most uncontroversial non controversial actors in bollywood and yet you pick the most controversial subjects <laughs> knowingly or unknowingly yeah. i don't know yeah. but with badhai do you touched uh, you you it tackled with an issue that is out there but nobody wants to accept it or talk about it i personally i also run a uh, run a women's organization and i come across so many women who are married and brought here only to find out their husbands are gay mm. and there is a debate going on in the supreme court at the moment for gay marriages to be made legal um talk about uh, how you pick your do you deliberately pick these subjects and what are your thoughts about this debate that's going on in in the supreme court um uh, yeah i do i do uh, i would say i do choose this these scripts without of course thinking that these are the only films i want to do but when i read badhai do script i thought it is such an important story and and for the first time i read a film which does justice to the community you know and the way it's, it was made and the director all of us i think the whole team was a very very uh, a bunch of responsible people who understood the responsibility of showcasing um, you know uh, people from the community in the right way and to talk about something which is as you said which uh, uh, which nobody really uh, wants to talk about out in the open things are changing of course things have changed and i wish uh, i wish more and more uh, i just want to all my wishes are for the community uh, more power to them uh, i feel uh, i feel you know it's right now of course it's a uh, uh, it's in the court it's in the supreme court and i i'm keeping a tab i hope uh, the community comes out as a as a winner because i feel uh, everybody should have the right to uh, make their own choices and to live their life the way they want to live without of course uh, you know uh, bothering anyone and without doing uh, being in the law just just it's very important for people to have that kind of freedom yeah absolutely it is becoming more and more difficult for for bollywood industry you know n- actors are being criticized not just for their artistic uh, uh, side but for the politics of the films what what do you have to say about that i mean Do you think cinema should be politicized and where is the artistic uh, I think I am nobody to really comment on that each to his own 
Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, uh, you are turning 40 and Not right now, I still have to Next year. No, oh, 2 years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you have uh, you are approaching 40 yeah. and and w- what do you what have you set any goals? I mean, there are there any goals that you think not that I have still not been achieved not that you would like to fulfill later in not life? At all. I'm not a futuristic person at all. I never <laughs> really, if you'd ask me where do I see myself in 5 years, I won't have any answer. I have never really planned my future. I I am somebody who lives in the moment and and really focus on what i'm doing in that moment i think that just that's that's my mantra of living that's a fantastic yeah. mantra to have actually yeah. you never know what's going to happen Absolutely. next minute yeah. thank you very much for speaking thank to you us so much.